already know it's your boy Joe, aka I do this back again, getting these videos up just for you, man. We're gonna build this Netflix, man. Listen, we're gonna start with something real fun today. You know, something quick. You know, a little bit about CSS gradients, right? So you will want to know what the hell is CSS gradients, right? Let's search what gradient means. Gradient color. Gradient colors is just pretty much is like a mixture. You see how things go from red to blue, yellow to purple to green. That's pretty much what gradients means. It's just pretty much is like a mixture of like colors. You know, you go from one angle to the other angle and you mix two colors, sometimes three, sometimes four, whatever you need just to create something, you know, something either create a gunmetal or create just like a, a pretty image in the background however you want to you know you want to mix up colors you know what i mean so we're going to search color adobe.com right so we're going to search that and then this was this is going to give you this right when you get here we're going to mix two colors we're going to say okay um basically the logo of netflix is you know red and black so let's come here and say okay uh, I want to mix this to red, All right? And then I'm gonna say this color. I want it to be, you know what, black. Whatever. We're gonna keep black and red. So we're gonna say okay, two thirty four, thirty one seventeen. So this is colors in you know red, green, and blue, and then this is hexamol colors basically hexadecimals color it, it's just pretty much colors in computer language pretty much it's that simple uh okay so we're gonna say we're gonna come over here we're gonna say give me css gradients right and then there's already a generator for you to create this um almost nobody knows this thing by heart you know i do but a lot of people don't know this so the best way to do is just get the generator. You're always gonna find this. Whenever you need like something that's fairly complicated or a lot of numbers or a lot of letters that you're not gonna remember, just Google it and then it's, uh, you're gonna get the generator. Trust me. All right. So let's say we're gonna move this down, All right? And we're gonna say get this red get this black and basically if you see here this is the angle that's gonna go so it's gonna go from 0 to 100 from you know from the bottom to the top you know from the bottom left to the top right so let's see let's get the web kit you come here and you copy this and you say okay from there to the end right here you copy that and then you come back here and then you paste it delete this thing here so now you have the color that you want on top of the image and then the image after meaning is gonna go under the color so now what you do is you replace this colors here okay here's the 45 degree so what I'm saying is coming from here to here and then zero starts here 100 starts here right so you're saying okay 45 degrees then you want to remove this color right and you say okay what's red 234 31 17 you come here and you click rgba 231 what was it 231 31 17 31 31 17 and then the alpha means how much light can go through the color. So pretty much it just makes it, you know, translucent, right? So it goes from zero to one. So what you do is you say, okay, I want this to have the color, but at the same time, I want it to be able to see a little bit of what's behind it, right? So let's start here, right? And you see what, what that gives you. You got the color, you're able to see what's going on here. And at the same time, you know, you have the color, which is at the end, which is black. 
at 100%. Now, it's all up to you, however you want to work. You know, sometimes you might say, hey, I want to make this thing uh, 180 degrees. So, it's the opposite, right? Or you could say, hey, I want to make this 90 degrees. And you see, it comes from the top. You start at the bottom and go to the top. All right? But right for now, let's just keep it at 45. Because I kind of like this like that. Yeah. Yeah, so pretty much that's it, man. That's a little bit intro to CSS gradients, man. It's just pretty much you mixing one color with another color. You know, and sometimes if you want to go all out, like let's say you want to create uh, a metal or, you know, a button, you'll create something like this. Like back in the, you know, early 2000s, a lot of people used to use gradients a lot. Uh, now it kind of went away. And you see, like it gives you different effects. Like if you wanted to use a button, you could just come here and just pretty much copy this. And say, okay, I want to copy this whole thing. And like let's say we wanted to create this right here, this class button one, right? So let's say we wanted to make this button one have a gradient. You will use that. See, and now it has a background, but we're not actually gonna make it like that because it looks ugly. So, we're gonna keep this there and we're gonna go to the next video.